guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Kashina, and I'll be showing you a tutorial of how I did these pigtails. So stay tuned. Okay, so firstly, you want to make sure you wash and condition your hair thoroughly before anything. Then you want to blow dry, but make sure you get them roots real good since we have to press after. And I feel like the key to a good press is the blow drying. So as you can see, I'm going through my roots multiple times to really press out them roots so it'll be like fine for the pressing. So I think this part is optional to use the hot comb. I just think it helps me to slick my roots down even more. So I basically just use the hot comb all over my roots. Okay, now for the straightening part. And of course you want to use some type of heat protectant all over your hair before you start. I put mine on 375 and I got mine from Sally Beauty Supply. It's called the Baby Bliss Pro Prima Titanium Flat Iron. So you want to make sure you take your time. And I'm just waiting for it to get hot over here. So I'm pressing my roots over and over a lot because whenever I go to the Dominicans and I get a blowout, I see them do this a lot. So I'm just clapping over this technique. Then you want to take your rat tail comb and part your hair down the middle as straight as you can all the way to the back of your hair. You're going to need two scrunchies or two hair ties for this style. I took a small piece of my hair from the front because I'm going to curl it with the curling iron later on. And then you just want to brush it or comb it right back up so you can put it in a ponytail. So I did one side already off camera. For this part, you're gonna need got to be spray and your iron to curl your hair in the front. Okay, so I'm not the best curler, so please don't judge me on how I'm doing this. Obviously, that was so ugly and I had to redo that.
so I'm using the no glue method since I don't like having glue in my hair. I didn't have any hair thread but I am a fashion designer so I just use a regular sewing needle to sew my braid up. Okay, so this hair that I'm using is from the beauty supply store. I don't really know what the name is, but I do remember that it was a body wave and a 14, 16, and an 18. And I just used the two bundles of the 16 and the 18 length. So I actually found this method on YouTube as well. You get a bobby pin, you clip it to the end of the thread, like at the bottom of the weave. And then you attach it to the bottom of the braid and just start wrapping it all over your hair. Then you want to take a piece of the weave, not too big though, and just wrap it around so you can cover the tracks. Comb it out so the part can be sleek and smooth, and then grab your got to be spray to sleek it even more. Now for the fun part, just grab your rubber bands or your scrunchies and just start bubbling. So you kind of just tie it in the rubber band and then you kind of push your hair up a little bit and just start fluffing it out so it can get that kind of bubble genie look. Okay, so here's the final look. Got all the bubbles in, a total of six. This is like a quick little hairdo if you want to switch it up a bit or if you want to give yourself a little China doll vibes. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon in my next one. Mwah.